Hola a todos. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Virginia. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe and to watch the videos. I'm here to help you learn Spanish, the Spanish language, the Spanish culture. I am from Argentina, but I try to use a neutral uh, language, a neutral accent. So this is a course that I'm sharing with you. I've created all these slides. Um, for all the different levels, but we will go in order because I noticed that, you know, when you want to study online, all the classes, you don't know what comes first, what comes next. So it's kind of a chaos. I'm studying languages myself and I get very confused. So this is why I wanted to do it, you know, properly the way um, they do it at schools. I work for many language schools and I know how it is. And most schools are, are using um, Aula Internacional. This is the book that I'm using. I won't be sharing the book because I don't think it's very, you know, I prefer to use my slides. They are more colorful and graceful and beautiful. And they have the colors of my brands and my pictures and, and I, I like designing them. So you can download the slides. You, you find the links below on my website. You can download all this with the audios inside incorporated and everything. I am not able to share the audios in this presentation somehow it doesn't let me so I will say it yes but if you get to to go and download the slides on my website you get the audio you get a link I will show you um, to the audios yes and you have the the answers to all the exercises um the classes are short we'll be we'll be meeting every day 15 minutes the idea is that you study a little bit every day that's the key consistency just a little bit let's begin so if you miss the first class it was yesterday we saw the greetings we will begin with a little revision mm -hmm. if you didn't watch it i invite you to do so let's begin comenzamos listos bien hola mi nombre es virginia esta es la clase 2 unidad 1 del libro aula internacional 1 sí bien so you should reply to this. How would you say it? Hola. ¿Qué dices? What do you say if I say hola? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo te llamas? Hasta pronto. De nuevo. Hola. You should say something here. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo te llamas? Hasta pronto. Let's check. Corregi corregimos. Ahora respuestas. ¿sí? These are suggested answers. It shouldn't be exactly the same. I mean, it doesn't have to be. Hola, hola. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Bien, gracias. ¿Cómo te llamas? Soy Ana. Me llamo Ana. Hasta pronto. Adios. Hasta luego. Ciao. You don't need to say all of these greetings. You can just say adios or you can say ciao or you can say hasta, eh, hasta luego. See? ¿Sí? Again, I recommend you watch the lessons in order. So if you miss some of them, I suggest you go back. Um, bueno, vamos a comenzar con el tema de hoy. As this is a very basic level. I will speak a little bit of English. But um, the idea is that you start getting used to the Spanish sounds, ¿sí? Entonces, vamos a comenzar con la clase de hoy. Presentarnos en español. ¿Qué significa presentarnos? Por ejemplo, hola, soy Virginia, soy Argentina y soy profesora de español, ¿sí? sí that is to introduce ourselves. To introduce ourselves, we need to learn a little bit the nationalities and the jobs, and that's, that's what will be, and the alphabet and uh, a few more things. So that's what we'll see today. Estudiantes de Español. We have a mini reading here. I will read it aloud and I suggest that you repeat after me and you try to read aloud. Me llamo Kate. Soy inglesa. Soy empresaria. Tengo una tienda de ropa. ¿Mm? 
doesn't matter if you don't understand all the words, try to use pictures. I will try not to translate so much. Kate es empresaria. Yo soy empresaria. ¿Sí? Tengo una escuela de español. ¿Mm? Tengo una tienda de ropa. Kate. Vamos con Ana. Me llamo Ana. Soy estadounidense. Significa de Estados Unidos. Y soy estudiante de arquitectura. Arquitectura. Las casas, los edificios, ¿sí? Hola, soy Raúl. Soy brasileño de Brasil y trabajo de cocinero, de chef, cocinero, como en la foto. Me llamo Frida. Soy sueca de Suecia y trabajo en una agencia de viajes. Hola, mi nombre es Arnaud. Soy francés y soy profesor de francés. Hola, soy Wang. Soy chino de Beijing y soy periodista. Eso en la foto es periodista. Por ejemplo, para la BBC. ¿Mm? Bien. Si no entendemos alguna palabra, probablemente no entienden empresaria. Empresaria es businesswoman or businessman, empresario, um, y tengo, tengo una tienda de ropa. She owns a clothing store, ¿sí? Estadounidense, from the States, y soy estudiante de arquitectura, architecture. ¿Mm? I guess the rest you understand. Sueca is a Swedish, she works at a travel agency, ¿sí? Trabajo en una agencia de viajes, ¿ok? The rest is pretty obvious. Vamos a, con, a continuar. Ahora tú preséntate. So I will introduce myself and you should follow with your information. Hola. Me llamo Virginia. Soy argentina. Y soy profesora de español. ¿Y tú? To be introducing yourself. Preséntate, preséntate. Hola, me llamo John, Richard, Kate. Soy inglés, inglesa, francés, italiano. Y soy arquitecto, ingeniero, profesora, etc. Bien. Um, this course is completely free and it's very useful for you to repeat after me and to listen to me and try to follow my explanations and everything. But just for the record, it is very important that you practice speaking too. This is why in the links below you can find my programs and the different conversation groups and the different private classes and group classes that we have so that you can practice speaking that basically is one of the most it's it's not the most important skill because i tend i i believe that all the skills are equally important reading writing speaking and and listening but um speaking is probably the most important one because when you travel abroad you need to speak you you hardly ever write to people or yeah So listen and speaking is, is pretty um, useful when you're traveling, when you're in the streets. So I highly recommend that you seriously consider speaking. You could be um, doing this at home, repeating after me, but you might be doing it wrong. So this is why I, I recommend that you consider joining um, some classes. Yes. Um, bien. Vamos con el abecedario. Abecedario. El abecedario sirve para deletrear, for spelling, mm, spelling your name, y pronunciar correctamente. It also helps the pronunciation. Hay diferencias en pronunciación entre España y América Latina, 
¿sí? Hay diferencias del acento y pronunciación entre España y América Latina. Vamos a ir letra por letra. I also have a video about the alphabet. I'll leave it here. Be, um, I'll leave the link uh, or below and uh, you can watch that video too. A. Vamos, repetimos. A. B. B. C. In Spain they say C. C or C. Whatever's easier for you. D. D. E. F. G. H. I. J. K. L. M. N. N. This is a Spanish letter. My surname is Ocaña with a ña. And also the country Spain, España. Ña. O. P. Q. R. R. This might be difficult. I, I suggest you pronounce it. I also have a video only about this. I'll leave it below. R. S. T. U. V. In Spain, they say V. We say V. See? You can say V or V. In Spain, they say W. We say W. That's up to you. W o W. X. Y. Z. In Latin America, Z. In Spain. Z o Z. Hmm? Again, um, each person, each student decides what they want to study, if they want to focus on Spanish, uh, Spanish from Spain or Latin America, but I will be highlighting the differences. Bien, atención, ojo, con la C y la G. Cuando la C va seguida de A o U, pronunciamos K como casa. When followed by A o U, it's pronounced K como casa. When followed by I E, pronunciamos Z o S, depending if it's Spanish from Spain or Latin America. Celeste o celeste. C y K. The same here with the G. G más A o U es G, como un gato. G más I, E es G. It's the same as J. Genio. Gato, genio. Again. Casa, celeste, gato, genio. I hope it makes sense. We also have a pronunciation lab in the events. I, I suggest you check the links below. We have a pronunciation lab happening every uh, month. Bien. Comprensión auditiva. Vamos a escuchar, escuchar. Escúchame a mí, ¿sí? So I will spell six different words. I need you to write them down, ¿sí? As you can see in the link, you have the click here uh, for the audio, but this presentation doesn't let me because I'm sharing the screen and somehow it doesn't let me. So I'm going to say it myself. Yes, but you do have it in the in the slides if you if you go and get them on my website. Número uno. M. E. S. A. So that should make a word, see? M, E, S, A. Número dos. S, I, L, L, A. 
Repito, 2 S I L L A. Número 3 C H E F. Repito, C H E F. Número 4 B R A S I L E Ñ O Repito B R A S I L E Ñ O Número 5. E. M. P. R. E. S. A. R. I. A. Número 5. I repeat. E. M. P. R. E, S, A, R, I, A. All these words you know. We've seen them in the previous lesson and in this lesson. So they should ring a bell. Número 6. M, O, C, H, I, L, A. Repito, M, O, C, H, I, L, A. Mm, veamos qué tal. Controlemos. Let's check. Bien. Número uno es la palabra mesa, mesa, table. Número dos, silla, silla. <ríe> Chair. Número 3, chef. 4, brasileño. 5, empresaria. Businesswoman. 6, mochila. Backpack. ¿Sí? Bien. Vocabulario, aficiones. So, we, we, if we're introducing ourselves, we need to see, to speak about our hobbies too, our hobbies. Aficiones. Las aficiones son los hobbies. Tenemos el fútbol. Repite. El fútbol. Cocinar. Cocinar. Ver la tele. Ver la tele. Ir al gimnasio, ir al gimnasio, cantar, to sing, cantar, tocar la guitarra, tocar la guitarra, el tenis, bailar, viajar, Leer. See? Again, for vocabulary, what I suggest is that you go back and repeat and you go back and repeat and you try to remember. You're cleaning the house and you try to remember. You see the, te the TV and you say, how do I say to watch the TV and try to remember? That's what I do when I'm studying. Uh, I'm studying Russian and I try to do that every day. Go through the vocabulary. Las aficiones. Acá tenemos ejemplo en contexto, ¿sí? So, we will have examples in the context, in phrases. Por ejemplo, ver la casa de papel en Netflix, ¿sí? O leer libros de Isabel Allende o de Shakespeare. Bailar salsa o bailar tango, o bailar folclore, bailar rock, cocinar, 
paella, cocinar pizza, cocinar pasta, viajar a Patagonia, viajar a Francia, viajar a Nápoles, viajar a Japón. ¿Mm? Los números. Oh, my God, I have a video about this too. You will find the links below. Los números son importantes para poder decir nuestra edad. To say, to speak about our age at this stage. That then you will need it for money, for prices and all this. But at this stage that you're introducing, our, uh, we are introducing ourselves, you need it for the age. ¿Sí? Vamos con los números. Cero. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Seis. Siete. Ocho. Nueve. Diez. You find them in one, you find, you see them in one color because they are all different and these ones have a characteristic, that's why they're all white, is that they finish in C. This will help you remember to group them. So, once. Doce, trece, they all finish in C. Catorce, quince. And these ones begin with dieci. Do you see? That's why they are grouped in another color. Dieciséis, diecisiete, dieciocho, diecinueve. Again, they all begin in veinti, and it's one word. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And now it's two words, 30 y uno, three words actually, 30 y dos, 30 y tres, 30 y cuatro, 30 y cinco. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. The, again, it's 40 y 1, three words, 40 y 2. The same with 50, 50 y 6, three words. The same here, yes? 60, 70, 80, 90, 99, 100. ¿Sí? Profesiones. So here in this lesson, I'm showing you a lot of vocabulary and we'll put it together in the next lesson because we will study the verbs. So to make phrases, to say how old you are or what you like and all that, you need a little, a few verbs. So we'll see that the next time. So here you're, you will study a lot. You will see a lot of new vocabulary. I suggest that you go through the vocabulary again and again and again because it's not so easy to remember. And the next class, we'll put it together. Profesiones, jobs. Artista. Of course, these are just a few. If you have, if your job is different from these, I suggest you look it up. Or you ask me in the comments. Artista. Enfermero o enferme, perdón, enfermera o enfermero. Femenino, masculino. Nurse. Camarero, camarera. Masculino, femenino. Ingeniero, masculino. Ingeniera, femenino. Actor, masculino. Actriz, femenino. Secretaria, femenino. Secretario, masculino. Abogado, lawyer. Abogada. Músico, música. ¿Sí? Um, if your job is a little hard to describe, you can just say where you work. You can say, um, I think we have a few examples before. Let me go back and show you how you can say it here. Trabajo de periodista. Or you can say trabajo. This means I work. Trabajo en Apple. Trabajo en, the work in. Trabajo en, because this trabajo de means I work as a chef. But if you want to say where, you say trabajo en. 
Samsung, trabajo en Microsoft, ¿m? etcétera. Bien. Y nacionalidades. Nacionalidades. Again, we have a few. If yours is different, I suggest you look it up. Tenemos marroquí. It's the same for masculine and feminine. Marroquí. Ella es marroquí. Él es marroquí. Neozelandés. Neozelandesa. Uruguayo. Uruguaya. Irlandés. Irlandesa. Belga. It's the same for masculine and feminine. Belga. Canadiense, the same. Polaco, polaca. Japonés, japonesa. Tenemos también inglés, inglesa. Alemán, alemana. Francés, francesa, etc. Again, I suggest you look it up. Y, eh, or you ask me in the comments, of course. Ahora recordemos, a little exercise. ¿Mm? Las nacionalidades. La pizza es, what's the nationality of the pizza? ¿Mm? El tequila es, el sushi es, you should be thinking where they are from, de dónde son, el mate es, el hot dog es, y las tapas son, porque es plural, son. Bien, yeah. of course you can pause this and take your time. We'll go to the answers. La pizza es italiana. So here you have more nationalities. El mate es argentino. El tequila es mexicano. El hot dog es estadounidense de Estados Unidos. El sushi es japonés. Y las tapas son españolas, ¿sí? Bien. Ahora vamos a hablar. A hablar. So we'll put everything together here. From the last class to this class. Tu nombre. You should say tu nombre, your name, apellido, your last name. Deletrear, can you spell it? Now, now that you know the alphabet. Nationality, de la nacionalidad. Trabajo y aficiones, hobbies. You should try to say, speak all of this. Say it out loud. ¿Mm? Por ejemplo, yo diría, mi nombre es Virginia, mi apellido es Ocaña. Ocaña es O-C-A-N-A. -A. Nacionalidad, soy argentina. Trabajo, soy profesora. Aficiones, Ir al gimnasio, leer, ¿sí? Bien, acá tenemos el ejemplo. Me llamo Virginia Ocana. You should speak about yourself. Yes, this is just an example. ¿Mm? Muy bien. Hemos terminado con la clase de hoy. Oh my God, it's 30 minutes almost. This was longer. Uh, as, as they get a bit more difficult, they would be a little longer, of course. Um, I suggest that you study between 15 to 30 minutes every day so that it's not overwhelming. And uh, it would be nice if you also write some things down, if you practice writing. You have all the links below. And I will see you the next class. With, we will put everything together and we will learn our first verbs. Sí, vamos a aprender un poquito los verbos. Vamos a, a poner todo junto y vamos a hablar mucho más. Bien, cualquier duda lo dejamos abajo. Muchísimas gracias. Gracias, nos vemos la próxima clase. Chao, chao.